is a case of renal pelvis perforation during prone PCNL. Whether it is prone or supine doesn't make difference. 47 year old male patient complaining of right loin pain for one week. 2 cm calculus in the mid and lower pole part. He is very muscular built. You can appreciate the meaty kidney and uh, less fat in the subcutaneous tissue. Less fat and muscular patient is more difficult than more fat and less like in women with obesity, it is easy puncture and dilatation. The reason why I am mentioning is that the perfect puncture on the inferior calyx, perfect guide wire parking, but during the dilatation, at one point resistance will come in muscular men and we force and suddenly see this uh, as gone too medial towards the spine. This is not good. By this time, already suspected perforation. So, during perforation, the points are that if the perforation is big, entire stone can go out of the pelvis. So, while breaking the stone, one should use a low frequency with the pneumatic lithotriptor also. Uh, intermittently, you have to break and remove large pieces. If you make small pieces, ideally laser is better because it will not push the stone uh, beyond. Laser, exactly pieces you can make. You should not try to do powder. Here, luckily, even though it is hard stone, it has been broken and uh, all the things are taken out properly. And uh, when you abut uh, the stone against the perforation, it may increase and fragments may go out and lifelong these fragments may be. Actually, the surgeon who is doing this case has not observed at the perforation. It is retrospectively I am giving the voice over. But he has done the breaking as well as removal of the stone perfectly, including the clot. After that, realized that a rent is present above the PUJ. He, uh, if the perforation is there on the medial wall above the PUJ, well above, it is better. Nearer to PUJ is a risky thing. That is another point. And whenever we fragments are there outside, one should be very careful tackling them. Better not to tackle if they are powder. If it is a large piece, gently take it out. Otherwise, manipulating outside the renal pelvis is very dangerous. This is upper pole. Clear. Everything is clear. This is the only clot during the dilatation and perfectly through the periphery. This is the perforation. See, it looks big in camera because it is seven times magnified. No need to worry. Most of the times it heals unless it is bleeding or any viscera is injured, which is unlikely. So, here guide wire over the guide wire only nephrostomy has to be kept. Stent also has to be kept within the upper uh, pole. Uh, see, stent is kept in the upper pole. That's why curve is not there in the stent. And uh, the nephrostomy has to be careful. The nephrostogram is done here. See some amount of leak around the ureter. That will all heal most of the times. And ultimately, this patient was observed. Nephrostogram was uh, not done at the post op day 4, but uh, clamped for a few hours and patient did not have any problem, pain, fever. In fact, recovered very well, luckily. Most of these will heal with nephrostomy open for 3-4 days and with stent uh, kept for 3 weeks. Thank you.